what's best for you and your family. Yes. For instance, yep. coming back to those who bought at that lower price point, 2009, 2010, even 2011, you're seeing such appreciation in their value. What kind of options are you seeing for people there? Well, when you work with me and my team, uh, unfortunately, once you start, you can't ever get rid of me. I'm going to be your lender for life. So I'm going to make sure that you're always in the right mortgage product. And, and uh, doing so, when I'm following up with past clients that, that bought during those times, we're saying, hey, you know, you put minimal down. You had to pay that stinky PMI, which is private mortgage insurance, which is a fee, a monthly fee, if you don't put 20% down. And it's not a small fee, really. I mean, they bumped those fees up after, the, you know, all the crashing of foreclosures, mm -hmm. those mm -hmm. like FHA insurance and so forth. They really raised that percentage to make sure they had money in their fund. Well, and especially in the beginning of your loan, too, the amount of principal is so low, your PMI is probably more than what's going on your principal. And it does you no good. I mean, it's just really there to protect the lender. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. there to protect the lender. But the way to get out of it is if you can show 20% equity and refinance into a new loan. So there you go. I'm doing a lot of analysis for past clients, and those are in particular are the ones that can get rid of it because now they're showing 20% equity, 20% or more equity. You know, I, I would say that I'm doing a lot of 15-year fixed. Yeah, explain that. Yeah. You can go from, now, I'm going to let you tell the story, but I'm just excited about it. That's why I'm talking yeah. fast here. <laughs> you can go from a 30-year mortgage with PMI, mm -hmm. if you're in the right situation, which you can help them with mm -hmm. the analysis. Tell tell what could happen to, into a 15 so, like I said, I keep track with all my past clients, and, and I've had a handful recently that we are have locked in in the mid-threes okay. on a 15-year fixed. Right. And let's say, for example, they were paying a high PMI, monthly PMI fee, and they're in the mid-fours, fives, six even. Yeah, right. So now we're knocking the, uh, uh, the term down to 15 years. Right. At a lower interest rate, it's keeping somewhere around the same payment. And the only reason why the payment's not lowering is because you're adding that much more towards principal. I run a, a long-term analysis, and we're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. Oh, yeah. Hundreds of thousands of dollars, because you're moving out of a 30-year product, which has you know all that many more years of interest on it, into a 15-year, get it paid for. And I'm telling you, a debt-free life in a paid-for house and being able to retire at a reasonable age, that's an American dream I can sign up for. You got it. And you're helping people get themselves personally empowered, because you can increase your cash flow situation, either by getting that thing paid off a whole lot faster, or by uh, using that money that you were using in PMI to do something else with it, whether you're trying to save money for your kid's college, whether you're trying to look at a retirement fund of some sort. There are opportunities, if you're working with the right professionals who are asking you the kinds of questions that maybe didn't occur to you to ask because right. it's not your profession. Right. And Linus Stallman with Summit Funding is one of those professionals who will help you. As you said, I like the way you say, you won't get rid of you. Yeah. Well, you know, no, sorry. I tell you, in our business, that's one of the things we hear is a lot of times people say, well, I would have used the realtor that sold me the house, but I couldn't remember their name or find them. Yeah. Right. Well, you're a guy who's going to keep in touch with people, help them in their journey towards owning that dream yes. of a debt-free life in a paid-for house and being able to retire at a reasonable age. I'm talking fast because we're running out of time, yeah. and I want to make sure we touch on this. Yeah. Sometimes people...